So, dear students, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you very, very much to our next lecture, Scientific Presentations in Biology. Of course, I would like to repeat a little bit because this is so important. How to discuss questions. You are sitting in the audience and you think you don't like it. Um, you're raising your hand and you say something. Um, I'm entirely against or opposed to this idea. I'm afraid your presentation leaves a great deal to be desired. So, these are two possibilities. Let's continue here. I think you are wrong. I'm sorry, I don't agree at all. Or I simply can't agree to this. So, these are three other possibilities. To my regret, I can see no way of accepting these arguments as they stand. Or you can say, I don't really agree. Nothing I have heard so far has convinced me. I think you are mistaken. So, these are very, very important um, responses if you sit in the audience and you don't like what you've heard please keep in mind select one or two uh, possibilities and learn this part so this is important as well and I would like to repeat this um, also you know that double point is colon Ausrufezeichen, exclamation mark, Fragezeichen, question mark. Very important point, point, period, or full stop heißt das auf Englisch. Uh, semicolon, you see it over there. And Gleichheitszeichen, equal sign. Multiplikation multiplied by or times or by geteilt divided by sieben Achtel als ein Beispiel seven eighths und Bruch is broken number ja I um, suggest you keep the mind colon exclamation mark question mark period of full stop semicolon equal sign multiplied by or times or by divide by as an example seven eighths and broken number so, with that, uh, I would like to jump to biochemistry. And you know that we have to um, learn a lot of words. So, we are thinking already on the next text that's coming. And uh, words are reading for us. So, I'm reading it once more. English, left side. German right side. Kohlenhydrat is of English carbohydrate. Polysaccharide, polysaccharide. Polymeric means polymer. Macromolecule, macromolecule. To consist of bestehen aus oder chain die Kette. 
monosaccharide in contrast to polysaccharide. Monosaccharide means monosaccharide, glycosidic glucosidic, living cell, living cell, and we have starch polysaccharide, speicherpolysaccharide. Let's continue. To hydrolyze means hydrolysieren. Energy source, die Energiequelle. Glycogen, Glycogen. Please keep the pronunciation in mind. To synthesize with a beautiful TH, synthesieren. To store, speichern. Animal, das Tier, we know this. Um, liver, die Leber. Masse, der Muskel, we know this. And linear means linear. Glucose, uh, keep the pronunciation in mind means glucose to branch verzweigen starch die stärke plant die pflanze photosynthetical photosynthetisch and very important amylose means amylose keep the mind um, Amylopectin, Amylopectin, Helix, is die Helix in German, Structure, die Struktur, Molecule, means in German, Molekül, to surface, dienen als, Structural, Struktur oder strukturell and component is the Komponente. And we keep this in mind as well. Here the pronunciation is once more different. Katin is in German Chitin. Katin, Chitin. Arthropod, Arthropodo oder auch Gliederfüße, Insekt, das Insekt, Spider, die Spinne, Protective, schützend, Exoskeleton, das Exoskelett, Wiener Auffang ist ein Fungi, Pilze ein Pilze, Cellwall, die Zellwand, Nitrogen, der Stickstoff. So, and more words are waiting for us. If we can see this here. Acetyl glucose amine, acetyl glucose amine. Monomer, monomer in German. Zellose, Zellose, Pectin, das Pectin, and Hemicellose, Hemicellose. Protein, means protein, Heteropolymer, Heteropolymer, Galactose, die Galactose, Xylose, die Xylose and Arpinose, the Arpinose. So if we continue with a Manose, 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 Ramnose, Ramnose, Galacturonic Acid means Galacturonso and um, the link verknüpfen. Side chain is 
die Seitenkette and Sugar, der Zucker. So, we learned a lot of vocabulary things on the text, but that's not really enough. And we have a look on that. So, uh, phospholipid, das Phospholipid, Polymerization, Polymerisierung, Precursor, Vorstufe oder auch Vorläufer. We heard of the protein, protein. We know probably not the pump is the pump. I think we are in the van. Here is the pump very Purine, purine. And of course, the second one is pyrimidine. That's pyrimidine. Secondary plant compound. Sekundärer Pflanzenstoff. Wichtig ist auf jeden Fall soluble, means löslich. Starch, die Stärke. Structure, die Struktur. And Sucrose ist die Saccharose. Oder auch Sucrose, aber ich würde bevorzugen Saccharose, also Saccharose. So, we learned a lot of words that are really, really important and necessary for biochemistry. Let's uh, start with our text. This is uh, text 2 and it is very interesting because it is on biochemistry of carbohydrates. So, let's read this. Polysaccharides are polymeric marker molecules that consist of chains of several hundreds of, no, two thousands, hundreds, two thousands of monosaccharides that are glycosidically bound. Polysaccharides have two distinct functions in living cells. One function is as starch polysaccharides that can be hydrolyzed as an energy source. For example of such carbohydrates is glycogen, which is synthesized and stored primarily in liver cells and muscles in animals. Glycogen consists of linear chains of alpha 1 for glycosidically bound glucose that is branched alpha 1 uh, 6 glycosidically at around 8 to 12 glucose molecules. So, this is of course very interesting. Let's continue once more with the unknown words. Carbohydrate means chronodrat. We know that polysaccharide is das polysaccharide. Polymeric, polymer. Macromolecule, das Macromolekül. To consist of, bestehen aus and chain the kit. Monosaccharide, monosaccharide, glycosidic, glucosidic. Living cell is lebende Zelle. And we read on starch polysaccharide, speicher polysaccharide. We read as well glucose, glucose, and to branch so um, I take this as an illustration all the time, but it didn't explain this. This is the vacuole ATPase, V ATPase, as a cartoon over there, and you see this living here. It's atomic force microscopy. Um, it's scanning the membrane. 
and you see a lot of free bases coming over there and you see here uh, as a single video base over there it's consisting of video base of transporting burdens and it's just consisting of a part out of the membrane you see over there and it's consisting of six uh, subunits and I think you see this over there yeah and there is a membrane integrated part um, it's rotating and responsible for the transfer of the proteins so um, the VT base um, says vacuolar D base and it's coming off um, the vacuole, the thermoplast. So I like this so much. So let's continue with our text. I think I start reading the text and I use the VT base with. I like this very much as an illustration over there and over there. These are two VDBs. Okay, so I suggest let's focus on the next ones more. Starch is a starch carbohydrate in plant cells and is synthesized from fulvantically produced glucose. Starch exists in two types, amylose and amylopectin. Amylose consists of alpha 14 glycosidically linked glucose with a helix type structure. Amylopectin is the main component of starch and has a similar structure to glycogen. However, amylopectin is branched on average every 25 glucose molecules. Of course, this is very interesting. Let's jump to our unknown vocabulary. We learned something on starch, die Stärke. We read something on plant. Die Pflanze. Photosynthetical heißt photosynthetisch. We learned something very important on Amylose, Amylose, Amylopectin, das Amylopectin. We read something on Helix, die Helix. Structure, die Struktur. We learned something on molecule, molecule, to surface, dienen als, structural, means struktur oder auch strukturell, and component, die Komponente. For that, let us jump to our text, our good exercise. So we read the text. Now it's exercise and it is very very important. Um, I think I read this pronunciation. Many by molecules um, are similar in German and in English. But um, although you can recognize this easily in scientific texts you can translate it. The pronunciation is however absolutely different in German and in English. Our exercise is <coughs> that we have to practice this. We have to practice the pronunciation. Um, we have to um, skin our texts and look for biomolecules. It is recommended that we use an online dictionary and we um, use the pronunciation. We practice this. 
again and again until we are as special as so a few of um, biomolecules are coming here and I think I'll read this once more amylose for instance the amylose amylose in English amylopectin das amylopectin chitin is chitin das sollten wir auf jeden Fall waschen glucan is das glucan glucose die glucose cellulose die cellulose and galactouronan galactouronan the pronunciation is different so for that exercise we are jumping to our text and so on and we learn this and we see a lot of um, biomolecules just pronunciation think on that additionally polysaccharides serve as structure components of cells chitin is used by arthropods such as insects and spiders to synthesize their protective exoskeleton in fungi chitin is a main component of cell wall chitin contains nitrogen and consists of beta 1,4-glycosidically linked acetylglucosamine monomers. In plants, cell walls consist of cellulose, pectin, hemicellulose, and a small percentage of protein. Cellulose is a linear chain of beta 1 4 linked glucose molecules, whereas hemicellulose are heteropolymers that may include galactose, xylose, arpinose, mannose, and remnose. In contrast, pectin is a linear chain oh, of Let's see what it um, Our uh, last sense is missing. In contrast, pectin is a linear chain of alpha 1 falling galactuuronic acid that's linked with side chains of neutral sugars such as galactose, xylose, and albinose. So, only now we are jumping to our vocabulary and it's not so much. Cartin means hitin, arthropod, arthropodo oder auch Gliederfüße, Insect, das Insect, Spider, die Spinne, Protective, Schützend. We read something on exoskeleton, exoskelet. We know perfectly fungus and fungi, pilze and pilze, cell wall, die Zellwand, and nitrogen, der Stickstoff. So, this was not everything. We learned something on biomolecules. And let's continue reading for that. What have we read? Acetylglucosamine, acetylglucosamine in German, monomer, monomer, cellulose, die cellulose, pectin, pectin, hemicellulose, Hemicellulose oder auch Hemicellulose. Both is possible. We had something on protein, protein, hydropolymer, hydropolymer, 
Galactose, die Galactose, Xylose, die Xylose und Arbinose, die Arbinose. Let's continue with Manose. There in German, Manose means Manose in English. Remnose, Ramnose. Galacturonic acid, Galacturonsäure in German. To link is verknüpfen. Sidechain, die Seitenkette. And sugar, Zucker. So, a lot of vocabulary is waiting for us, and I think I'll read this. Compound, die Verbindung. Degradation, der Abbau. Desaturation, is quite familiar to us, desaturation. Dimer, das Dimer. You know that our membranes are consisting of dimers. Electron, das Electron. Fluidity, fluidity, and glycolipid, das glucolipid. Glucose, die Glucose. Gradient, der Gradient. Inorganic, anorganisch, intermediate, zwischen oder zwischenprodukt. Kinetics ist die Kinetik and Lipid was Lipid. So, let's jump to this slide because it is very important as well. You know that membrane potential is das membrane potential. Metabolism, metabolismus oder Stoffwechsel. You are familiar with methionine, methionine. You know meanwhile that monomer is das monomer. Nucleic acid, nucleinsäure. Organic means organisch. Very important is pathway, Verlauf oder Fahrt. And permeability, die permeability. So if we learn membrane potential, metabolism and methionine, we learned monomer. Nucleic acid, what nucleus organic, organic, pathway, the flow of the fat, and we learned permeability, permeability. And you see here our beautiful cartoon of a membrane. So um, a lot of words would wait for us. I think I give this as you as a homework. And for that I would like to super the point. I would like to finish my uh, lecture. I would like to finish my lecture. I keep my fingers crossed for your next presentation. And um, you can uh, reach me all the time by email if there are any questions you have to ask. With that, I'm saying cheers to you, and I enjoyed this so much um, talking to you. So, thanks a lot. Cheers.